You all know that wine is a special passion of mine. One of the great wine producing regions in the world is the Barossa Valley in southern Australia, and appropriately enough, you can get there by rail. Australia's Barossa Valley is synonymous with wine. Some of the finest vintages from down under come from these old vines. This lush, rolling countryside provides just the right mix of sun, soil, and rain. It's just outside of Adelaide in South Australia, and fortunately, a train runs through it. Inside, it's not just a view of passing scenery. It's a chance to sample some of the best this region has to offer. We like wine, and we're doing a tour of Australia, and we thought it would be a nice thing to do. It's the whole experience. It's travelling in a group. Uh, it's getting to all the different wineries. We go to small boutique wineries, which some people don't necessarily know about. Uh, it's the commentary of the area. It's the information we provide uh, and the service. The wine flows freely from the moment this train heads out from the station in Adelaide. There's a wide selection of reds and whites from which to choose. In fact, it seems some passengers sort of forget there's something to see outside the glass. We haven't really looked out the window much. We've been enjoying the cup of tea and the chat. We're interested in Australian wines anyway, so I mean we get a lot from exported obviously back home. Um, just to really taste some new wines that we don't obviously get back home really and uh, you know, see if we can bring some back with us perhaps. A big draw for this trip is the train itself. It's made up of old coaches updated for a more comfortable hour and a half ride out to the Barossa Valley. More and more often, travelers are turning to the rails when setting out on a journey, especially when it's on vacation. John just loves trains, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, I do, I love trains. As a matter of fact, we came over from Sydney on a train. And we came over on the Garn and had a day at uh, Brogan Hill and then on the Indian Pacific. And when I set a wine train, well, I was on that too. <laughs> Train travel in Australia has been very popular over a number of years, uh, so people love trains uh, and love the whole stigma that goes with it. The Barossa Wine Train brings twin passions for trains and wines together in one thoughtfully designed excursion. We take them around and we visit three or four major wineries, we give people a guided vineyard tour, we do a structured wine tasting. So what you're looking at now, a very lightly oak Chardonnay, the 1999 Chateau Cadet. Um, spent three months in oak, nice fruit weight, so you'll feel it when you, it's, it's on, your, on your tongue, lingers on the palate, finishes dry, but just with a hint of oak. Okay, so have a look at that one. There are more than 80 wineries here in the Barossa Valley. Back in the old days, it was an area serviced by old steam trains. The rails in this area are well-traveled. It's an area steeped in the tradition of fine winemaking. So these vines here are what our owners like to refer to as a piece of agricultural history. They're all over 150 years old. They're the oldest vines in the Barossa. Um, they've never been watered in their lives. Uh, in fact, we'd probably be wasting water if we were to water them. That's because the roots are so long and thick that they can survive on groundwater far below. The result is a fine quality grape that stuns palates across the globe. Now the fruit is um, very small and it does have quite a low yield, but it's extremely flavoursome. Uh, in fact, our winemaker says it's the most balanced wine he's ever worked with. Travellers are treated to a multi-course gourmet lunch complete with local specialties and plenty, and I do mean plenty, of wine. And then, even some more wine. We have international passengers from all around the world, so um, the cellar door managers, their wine lists are growing, their mailing lists are growing to international passengers. Um, a lot of wines, as you know, from Australia, the export market is just huge at the moment. Um, so any exposure that they can get into the international markets, the wineries really appreciate. It is the kind of trip that makes a lasting impression. Scenery that pleases the eye, wines that please the taste buds. And so, perhaps, more to take home than just a few bottles of the local product. Everything. Memories of the Barossa Valley, the whole area. Uh, a true experience of South Australia. Of course, sampling the great wine and some of our great food that is available in the Barossa. And generally, just a very good day that they can talk about for the rest of their lives. During a time when vacations can seem as busy and harried as your job, why not take a little time to hop on a train, see the sights, to stop and smell the wine? 
Yeah, why not? Day in the Barossa and wine tasting, laid back, easy, easy trip up. Don't have to drive a car, why not? It's an easy choice, and one where your love of wine and your love of trains roll happily along together here in Australia.